everyone, so today I have a Blake Lively hair, makeup, and kind of outfit look for you guys. When I saw this spread that she did for Glamour Magazine, I just fell in love with it and I knew that I wanted to recreate it and I knew that I wanted to try out the look for you guys. So now I'm finally doing it. It's a little bit late, but I definitely love the way that it turned out and I hope you guys do too. So if you want to go ahead and keep watching on how to get this makeup hair and then talk about my little outfit that I have on, then go ahead and keep watching. So first I'm going to begin by priming my eyelids for the eyeshadow and then I'm going to go ahead and just blend this in. Then I'm going to start off with a matte brown color on a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid just as a base color. Then I'm going to take a darker brown color and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer corners of my eyes to start the smoky effect. So now onto eyeliner, I'm taking a black creamy eyeliner pencil and I'm going to apply this on my upper lash line and I'm going to make the line a little bit thicker towards the outer part of my eye. So then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and I'm going to take the black eyeshadow and place it right on top of the eyeliner and then I'm going to gently smudge it out so it creates a really smoky and kind of messy effect. So then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow on a fluffy brush and I'm going to begin to blend this into the outer corners of my eyes and this is going to start the smoky effect. So just take your time and keep blending. So here as you can see I'm still working on the blending and making it a little bit more smoky and then I took a brush just to wipe away any excess eyeshadow. And now I'm going to put some concealer under my eyes just to brighten up my under eye area and make sure that I didn't um, cause any darkness by using the black eyeshadow because sometimes you will get fallout. Then I'm going to take a nice creamy eyeshadow and apply this underneath my brow bone as my brow bone highlight on a flat shader brush. So now coming back to the black pencil eyeliner, I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. Then of course I'm going to take the black eyeshadow once again and apply this on top of the eyeliner just to give it a really smoky and smudgy effect. Of course I need to add some mascara, so I'm just going to add some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. You can use false lashes if you would like to. Then I'm going to add a very natural pink blush to the apples of my cheeks. And then of course for my lips, I'm taking just a really peachy nude lipstick. And finishing the look off by applying some gloss in the center of my lips to create a fuller effect. So there is the Blake Lively inspired makeup and now we will go on to the hair. So first you're going to want to section off your hair and then you're going to want to take your teasing comb and begin teasing this mess. And as you can see I'm focusing mainly on the back part of my hair and the crown and this is going to help get a lot of nice volume once we put the hair up. So just continue to tease and kind of tease it backwards so it'll have a lot of nice volume. So as you can see here I've gathered the hair into a half up half down look. And then once I've gotten it to the desired shape and height, I'm going to go ahead and secure it with bobby pins. Now remember you can make it a little bit higher because it will fall once you set the bobby pins and everything. So always try to put it a little bit higher than you actually want it up. Then I'm going to take the remainder of my hair and I'm going to twist it and then pin it into place with some bobby pins as well. So there is a very quick and simple way to achieve the Blake Lively hair, but now my bangs, I'm going to go ahead and tease those as well because her bangs are pulled back. So just go through, tease them out, and then kind of smooth them down, and then I'm going to just pin them right to the side of my face. I'm also going to pull down a few pieces of hair just like she has. 
and then add some big white earrings, of course. Okay, so starting with my polka dotted top, this is from Forever 21, and once I saw it, I knew I had to do the Blake Lively look because it's so similar. I love the little sweetheart top, and then the sheer part with all the polka dots is just really pretty and really different, but very similar to the look that Blake had on. So here is another view of the top. And I paired this just with some white jeans and then of course the big white earrings which I actually purchased from Claire's and I think they work really well for this look. And then I found some awesome red pumps from Nordstrom's and these are so fun and cute and I think they're great. Alright everyone, so that is the look for today. If you guys recreate this, I would love to see a photo on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone!